sight. I give you the green light. Like, this all bark, bark. We all bite. You gambling with your life? Let's roll the dice. Oh, piece of, piece of, piece of That's right. Legendary. Open the wide. Something like a Legendary. 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 We done did it. Huh. Wanna see a mogul? We showing you how to pivot. Got this from DMC. Let's run with it. Check. Took the fundamentals and having some fun with it. These songs, King Kong, my team strong. Godzilla set fire to whatever I breathe on. Got the killers in choir all singing my theme song. I could never do this alone. Come on. <laughs> still Dre, still on top, still got it. The Sonic still iconic. They still steal the product. I seen the money coming. I showed you that I'm a prophet. And I'm riding shotgun in case they get out of pocket. Why you wanna press the issue? Issue. issue. You need to stop and keep a lawyer on retainer for depositions and dockets. Uh, Back to the topic in case you, you forgot it. Anonymous head bobbing, baby. Keep that, keep that pocket. Baby, I'm just trying to get, trying to get Legendary. Open the wide. Like Mind if I pull up with a few. We can't arrange that. Dropping out of the blue. You know what? All I want to do is.
yeah thinking that it happened overnight i didn't in it for the long haul flight committed wanted me to fail out of spite i didn't all bark but they don't bite they timid thinking that it happened overnight but it didn't in it for the long haul flight i'm committed wanted me to fail out of spite but i didn't all bark but they don't bite because they timid look hey. i got people trying to wish and pray that i'ma fall about it all about it till we spoke in person don't want to talk about it now huh oh, you our coverage of the NFL has brought us to Space City and NRG Stadium, right next to where the old Astrodome sits here in Houston, Texas. To kick off, here's Ryan Stonehouse. And away we go from NRG Stadium. And he got all of that one, that's for sure. But with our new kickoff rules in play this year, that means the football's going to be spotted at the 30. So they're all fenced out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. Putting a receiver in motion. Now begin with a run by Mixon. Jukes out. Has room down the left sideline. And he's in for the big play touchdown. Oh, Brock, but there it is. Back down the field, we've got a flag, and I don't think this is going to count. Robin, Robin. On the quick, right? From the gun, Stroud. Has him on the quick hitter. We're working a couple yards past the line. Amani Hooker with the tackle. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, just find a way to get him the ball. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hey, uno, 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 uno. Hey. Running for the first time with Joe Mixon. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a pickup of eight, and that brings up third and six. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know, and you may come back to, because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. Third and six for them to figure out now. Here we go. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. Finding Collins. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Level, 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 level. First and ten, a run to Mixon. And he can only get a lone yard. Took a couple of guys to haul him down near the line. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one. Softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. It's Mixon on second down. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. That was Harold Landry making the tackle. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite of the big meal between them and the first down marker, and that 
That should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. Stroud now on third. Completed to Collins. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And the Texans are going to have a first down. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. They just keep working it forward early. We've got first and 10 now from the 35. Shotgun now for Stroud. That's knocked away by a defender, incomplete. First time this game they've looked to him. So second down coming up. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and foresee incompletion. Going right side, mixing with it. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline in his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Now we get a timeout taken by the Titans. That's their first. And after using an early one, two left for him to spend. in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. To the air, Stroud. And there's a man there, it's intercepted. And the Titans are gonna have it after his second interception of the season. Wow, what an exciting start to this game, Brock. Apologies to the former QB and you. It's not an opening drive touchdown, but an interception instead. Yeah, exciting for one side. That would be the defense. Demoralizing for the other side as an offense. First salvo, listen, it goes to the defense. And now it really sets the stage for what I love and what you love, Kate, in this game of adjustments, in the game of back and forth. Who's going to respond next? Now stuck this one on the ground with Pollard. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Levis now off the play fake. Buying some time right. Anticipated the quick staccato pass there. It's knocked away. Incomplete. That's a nice job there by the linebacker. He kind of looks like a cornerback on that, doesn't he? Perhaps those cover guys get a little fun with him to practice this week because he looked like a DB right there, swatting the incompletion. No connection on the last play. And out third down. Shotgun now for Levis. Cover man is there and he harmlessly knocks it away. Incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game. And that brings up fourth and long. Punt team is on now and they get this away. He's got this at the 27. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And it's going to be Texans football. First and 10 now from the 30. Buggy, 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 buggy. 
Here we go, let's go. A give to Mixon up the middle. He's contained at the line for no gain. Arden Key there for the stop. No gain there that time, and it's second and 10. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say, there's just times you got to run into darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Second and 10 now. Digs there to bring it in. Galloping inside the 40. They're going to move the chains after a big play, 39 yards. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. Out of the shotgun, a give to Mixon. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Foul, foul, foul. Robin, Robin. From the 26 on second down. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth, but a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it, except for this defense. It just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Here he is on third and long. He's in trouble, and they bring him down again. And consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. One quarter down in this all AFC South contest. Couple of zeros on the board right now. We'll make our return to NRG Stadium after this. Texans going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. And he's got a good chance to really stick him deep his first time out. He punted four times last week in the win, and his first of this week is away. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Running right, here's Pollard. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Now don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to go push that envelope and get aggressive. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. Again, a run with Pollard. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and 10. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing the run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. Hey, like 13, like 13. From the gun, Levis. That's brought in by Calvin Ridley. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Like 54, like 54. Levis here on first down. He finds Tiga Kumpo for the grab. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like 
about that amazing play. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. I four. I four. Levis from the shotgun. That's incomplete left side. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And it sets up second down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. On the play fake, it's Levis. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Taken away by the rookie from USC. And the Texans get the football as he makes his third interception of this season. I know he started to play as a defender, but gosh, he looked good, didn't he? Running it back, he looked like a receiver navigating on that return. The way he saw the field, he baited obstacles, and he chewed up yardage in the open space. Wouldn't well, make those offensive coaches and teammates proud. We've seen defensive players get touches on occasion, and I think he just gave himself maybe a look on that side of the ball down the road. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. A handoff from Mixon, running right. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Throwing his crown. Short pass brought in. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. On the quick, right? They've got a man in motion. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. And he's able to get this down to the 36. That goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. Look the high, look the high. Stroud off the play fake. Stays in the pocket. Made the throw as he was getting hit, Brock, and it's incomplete. Trying to find Stephon Diggs. So it'll be second down. Here we go. 2J, 2J. Running with Mixon out of the gun. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. It's Kenneth Murray on the tackle. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. Let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. Whoa, 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 whoa. South, south, south. Here's Stroud now. Hits him on the out route. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it sets up a Houston first. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Here we go. On the carry, this is Mixon. And he's able to push this down to the 12. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. So much to like about that room, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger whoa, 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 whoa. run and crossing that first down marker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mixon on the toss. 
And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. But with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. All right. Shroud. The screen pass falls incomplete. Looking for the back that time. And fourth and four coming up. Now it's Kaimi Fairbairn on to try it for the Texans. This 32 yards out on the right hatch. We've hit the two minute warning now at NRG. The Texans working here. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Little off center. His man just couldn't adjust to it. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now they face second down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Mike 54. Yeah, Mike 54. Hand up. Levis back to throw. That's going to be caught, Tony Pollard. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, kid, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. Looking to throw on third and two. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after him. Pass taken in by Pollard. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. And one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Levis throwing again. Jump off caught by his back. You know, you compare and contrast stats over the decades, Kate. One thing you see is that these percentages are through the roof. In this day and age, compared to the 60s and the 70s, a big reason is just completions like that. Utilizing every one of your eligible receivers at time, a running back in the flat. Throwing his Levis on third down. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. The Titans call their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. You want to see the term read and react to the little video in the football dictionary? That's it. So we're through two quarters now. Still a half of football to be played. We'll be back with more of the NFL on EA Sports.
Well, that first half, certainly an interesting one. Kate Scott Brock here with you as we get back and see what the second half has in store for us. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. And we'll have to wait at least a few moments longer for an exciting start to this second half. We've got a touchback. First and ten now from the 30. Hello, Tight end going in motion here. First and ten, it's Pollard. We'll have him gain about a handful there. Aziz Al Shire that time on the tackle. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. A humble five, six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain, not a game changing play by any means, but one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of their front seven. Levis out of the pistol. He's going to push one deep down the right. Really pushing the envelope on second down, but the deep shot doesn't work. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Levis to the air now. Accepted. Picked off by Jalen Petrie. And the Texans take possession as he makes his fourth interception of our season. Well, obviously not the cleanest game without two interceptions, but here's the key. This is where mental toughness for a quarterback becomes so critical. And frankly, why some of the best QBs playing today have baseball in their background, because you flush your mistakes. Okay, you strike out, you throw an interception, but you got to go get it in that next series. Got to put these interceptions behind and press forward ahead. Here we go. Now a give to Mixon. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. That's 16 on the pickup. And the Texans are going to have a first down. First down. Texas. First and 10 at the 23-yard oh, hey. line. Keeping it with Mixon. And he's going to manage a lone yard on that drive up the gut. It's Kenneth Murray on the tackle. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Robin, Robin. Back to throw, Stroud. Cut by Diggs. And he's tackled for a short game. A whole bunch of credit goes to just about everybody on that offense. Guys up front needed to give the QB enough time to let that play develop. Excellent effort by that receiver to stay alive and for the quarterback to scan the field and find his completion. Here we go, let's go. Hey. Throwing on third down, Stroud. Pass caught by Mixon. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Not terribly complicated on this one. Just not the third down screen you wanted to run. Little chance they were getting the first, and apparently, little chance they were going to even gain a positive yard at all. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that one was beautifully struck. It goes right down the middle. That's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. Drive starts out with a first and 10. On my zero! My zero! Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. He gets a lot behind. They connect on the deep shot. 
And he takes it in. Touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans make it to the end zone. Calvin Ridley with the touchdown. That is as efficient as an offense can be. One play, 70 yards, and six points, Brock. They can save the rest of the plays they had prepared for their next series. Rest of the plays? Why even call a different one? <laughs> I mean, that one hit the sweet spot on the barrel and got out of the yard in a hurry. Perfect call to catch him sleeping to start that drive. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Now it's Stroud. Flushed out of the pocket. It's a 30-yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. I love this, Kate. No issues at all going to this receiver in the short field because they know at any time when this man touches the ball, he can transform a short completion into a big play. Big play gets him across midfield, sets him up first and 10 from the 40. On play action, here's Stroud. He rolls to his right. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a thrower for something. It brings up second down. You hear so many programs all around the league talk about it's all about the ball. It's all about the ball. Well, discretion, the better part of Fowler in a lot of cases. And right there, he understood it's all about the ball, and I'm not going to risk a turnover wisely throwing it away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Oh, right. Here's Mixon. Broke through the tackle. What a hit. He gets flattened to the ground. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. Stroud now on third. Into traffic, complete! And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. He picks up 28 on the play. And that gives them first and goal. They're gonna run here, it's Mixon. And they needed more than one defender there. Powerful runner stopped for just one yard. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Motioning him from the slot right. Oh, surprise gift to the receiver near the goal line. And he runs it across, touchdown. The Texans take a third quarter lead. Nico Collins with the touchdown. Well, partner, with the increased focus on receivers now in the ground game, the jet sweep, it's a weapon all 32 teams and coaches have to rely on for offense. And for the good ones, it can be a lucrative play to have ready, too. Yeah, lucrative on the scoreboard, certainly, Caden. Don't forget about lucrative for the wallet, too. <laughs> Next time his agents at the negotiating table, he's going to be sure to bring plays up like that one. You mentioned the value he could bring beyond the work of just catching the football. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. They're out and set. First and 10. By 24. They give to Pollard from the gun. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid 70-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. 
Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Levis now off the play fake. Completed to Pollard. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. A five-yard gain on the play. And the Titans will have a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Levis here on first down. Finds him on the crossing route. Still has some space inside the 35. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. A pickup there of 39. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. This is Pollard running left. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, range. Range is not an optional feature for middle linebackers in today's game. Uh -uh. It's a prerequisite for the job. And this guy definitely has it. Followed that play from the start, and he ended it with a loss. Offense to the line for second down. 49, right 49. Shotgun now for Levis. Cut near the goal line. And that's a Tennessee touchdown. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. Folk on now to try the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Titans tie things up at 14. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Stroud off the play fake. is made down the right sideline. And there'll be a midfield here as he gets out of bounds. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And it sets up a Houston first. On the quick, right? First down 10 at the 50-yard line. Completes and digs out left. And he gets it across midfield and into Titans territory. A very active quarter for us. Plenty of points in that frame as we reach the end of three. It's still a tie ball game. 14 points apiece as we get ready for the four. Second and six coming up here. Here we go. Throwing now, off play action. Makes the grab in bounds, left side. It's a pickup of 26. And the Texans are gonna have a first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. It's a good work to help reset those chains. Throw right side, hauled in by Collins. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. It's a real solid pickup, 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Now the give to Mixon. Has the Houston touchdown. The Texans take a fourth quarter lead. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. 
They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out. And that time, well, Brock, the ground game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that could score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. From the gun, Levis. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. He was looking DeAndre Hopkins' way there. And it's going to be second down. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. 22 window, 22 window. On the play fake, it's Levis. Headed out right. Brought in right side. Rolling into enemy territory. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a pickup of 39 yards. And the Titans will have a first down. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. Throwing now on first down, Levis. Cut at the 10-yard line. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Sending the tight end in motion left. Collar on first and goal. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Like 13, like 13, at 40 lineup. Oh, he taps it quick to the receiver coming across here. And he's brought down for a loss. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. We send a man in motion. He'll throw it. And look at the footwork there. Touchdown! Titans now trailed by just a point in the fourth. Wow, just fantastic work there. Tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration was there. Great catch for six. Yeah, the concentration and the body control. I don't know how these receivers do it in this day and age. There's no space to work with, yet they have... Oh, no, they get him yet again. Jimmy Ward has it. And the Texans take over as he reports his 10th career Things trimmed back down to a single point, Brock, as they send this off and away. 
So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Robin, Robin, Robin. All right. Hey, south, south, south. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Good Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. He's on the move. He doesn't slide down and he pays for it. A big shot sends him to the ground. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. Second and six coming up here. All right. This is Mixon. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Give him two on the run. That's going to set him up with third and four. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game, the type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Motioning him from the slot right. He's back to throw. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Couldn't connect to a tank Dell. And fourth and four coming up. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Looking to throw. He connects downfield on four. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Forget that it was fourth down, Brock. That is an impressive 22-yard pickup, and it gets them the first. So close to getting off the field. But the fourth down conversion keeps that defense out there. That was their shot to end this possession, to sit on the bench, to get their breath. But now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down. All right. 2J, 2J. First and 10, a run to Mixon. And he's going to run this down to the 36-yard line. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we go, just go. saw. It's mixed in on second down. And this one does not go far. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. See how they approach this second down. On the ground again with Mixon. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Tennessee calling its second timeout now. And they'll have just one left to burn now. 
So now here's third and five. All right. They bring Collins in motion right. Third down, Mixon gets it. And he gets leveled just before he reaches the marker, and that hit prevents a first down. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. That's a sign? Well, they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. How was that? Ray, Ray. Looking to throw. And it's going to be incomplete. Couldn't connect to extend the drive. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. You know, Kate, I don't think I've ever met a defender that cares. All they want to do is get off the field. Doesn't matter if it's a drop pass, deflection, breakup, even an interception. Challenged by the offense to get one more stop to get off the field, and that's exactly what they did. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Like 54, like 54. Looking to throw it. Try and push it deep downfield. That could be it, folks. It's intercepted. Jimmy Ward has it. And the Texans make the play that should win them this game. The moment you see them look to pass from this close to their own goal line, Brock, it is that defense's goal to hurry him and force a mistake just like that. Yeah, those guys, they're so sneaky on the back end, Kate. They, they know the clock is being sped up. They know that the quarterback can feel those footsteps and thinking about a safety, and those defenders just wait for that rush throw, and then they step in, they deliver, and they take the ball away. Wow, they're going to pass it here. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Hey, south, south, south. On the quick, right? Hey. Oh, look at this. He's setting up to throw. He sends this one to the end zone. And this is in the end zone, but incomplete. It was a win no matter what. They decided, hey, let's try for another touchdown. The knee it out. Either way, 